No one ever did their business better because they built a server well. It's actually about saying, how do I shorten your time to value? And if software is what's driving the new economy, how quickly can I devise a platform and get it to the developers so they can actually start driving real value? So at the lowest order of value, we look at the bare metal IS offerings. There is still value in it, but it's a lower order value because they've still got to go build and drive um, levels of software onto the platform. Then you move up into the infrastructure as a service play, and yeah, we've shortened the time to value, but the programmers still have to put on their database software. They still have to load things on. And finally, you look at the PaaS plays, which is the platform as a service, and it's about bringing together all the elements that you need as an organisation to go run a development activity. And it's the development activity that actually drives in business outcome. But for most organisations, some of your competitive advantage will definitely be built through the software you develop. If I took Walmart as an example, the logistics and supply system is state-of-the-art, integrated all the way um, into their supply chain. It's important to understand that as you do that development, as you move into an agile world, is to actually shorten that time to value so you're starting as soon as you can on the things that drive real business value. And as we drive down to the devices, into the tablets and the mobile phones, this is accelerating. So having an underlying infrastructure that allows you to do it is the importance of cloud. So cloud in itself is not the innovation, but it's the incubation of what will drive the innovation. It's a petri dish for what we drive out to the market. It's not the actual innovation in and of itself.